I'm Jacob Ross. I'm a competitive powerlifter and elite sports performance coach. Meeting meeting Luol, especially you know you look at it now, is one pivotal moment in my life. Um, it's funny. I'd always watched NBA basketball was my favorite sport, even though I was better at football. I always played basketball up up through high school, and um, I'd watched him play. I remember there was this crazy series with the Celtics, the Bulls were playing the Celtics, and I didn't know who he was, but I was like, this guy plays his ass off. Like, I had so much respect for him, I had no idea who he was. And when uh, Elias first called me, I looked at their website and they had Luol Deng on there, I'm like, that's crazy, like, I respect the heck out of this guy, not for the fact that he could do cool dunks or whatever, but how he played the game and how his work ethic was and his approach to it. You could just see it from how he ran, like, sprinted the court front to back the whole time. So when I got to train him that first day, it wasn't even a, um, like, a, like a deer in the headlights, like it was cool that I met him. It was more like, we're like-minded people, let's get to work. And we just clicked really well. Um, his mentality, his approach towards life and training um, really vibes a lot with mine. Like we both like to have fun, we're both, you know, kind of joke around, we like music, we like to dance a little bit. And, but when it comes time to get work done, we freaking get it done. We don't make excuses. Um, there's no trying, we do. And when you train an elite athlete, the personalities have to match. They have to. Right now, I've been in the NBA for uh, 13 years. Um, I was first drafted when I was 19. I went to high school in New Jersey. Um, grew up in London, originally from South Sudan. Oh, actually spent five years also in Egypt. To go back uh, before, you know, our training, uh, how everything started for me. When I first got in the NBA, uh, there was this big thing about guys not being strong enough. Um, I guess they forgot the part that I was 19. Um, and, you know, everyone overlooks the skill and always focus on the strength part, which is a big part, but uh, at 19 years old, I had no idea of anything about strength training. I don't even know if I ever lifted consistently for a month. And I remember the first time we worked out, it wasn't just a workout, it was uh, more of a learning. And for me, it was something new. I've always looked for more than just what it is. Uh, how can I get my mind to a level where I'm competitive with it and I'm seeing improvement? And I remember, I don't know if you remember or not, but the first time we worked out, you explained why we're doing each workout. And I kind of looked at it differently. And then the next thing was, I asked you something about food, about diet and you gave that to me and then I asked you something about whether well, stretching and you told me not to be too flexible then you're not you know uh, your push off or some, something along those lines so for me it started opening up my mind that this is not Jacob it's not a guy that you just work out with it's actually a learning process and a result uh, because of that I took lifting so serious and I think part of the reasons why, you know, my great years of becoming an all-star is it was part of it because I started to watch not only my diet, my workout, but I started to program everything in terms of how I'm progressing and how everything is getting better. The thing that I think about the most these days is something that Louis Simmons kind of said, and I'm kind of spinning it in my words, but I don't make athletes, I create them. I don't believe in taking a guy in, or a girl and just training them. Let's, let's create a vision for what they can be and let's work towards that both physically and mentally and that's really what I'm into.